Behold, in mid to late 2026, you will be able to go skiing, skating, or snowboarding on real snow on top of a mountain year-round in one of the world's hottest deserts all thanks to Saudi Arabia's ongoing multi-billion dollar mega project, Trojina, which is one of the four core parts of the new city of Neom. This sounds crazy since Trojina is by all means located in the desert, in an area that receives very little rain, almost no snow except on some of its mountaintops during winter, and is slightly milder than the rest of the kingdom where the average temperature ranges between 23 and 42 degrees Celsius. The most intriguing thing about Trojina is that you will be able to practice your favorite winter activities in the morning, then comfortably and in a short period, arrive on the shores of the Red Sea for some tanning, swimming, or diving, and then casually go to attend a late afternoon business meeting at your technology, research, or manufacturing firm on the world's largest floating industrial hub and port, the Oxagon and get to your home by 5 p.m. in The Line, which is the core of Neom. How exactly is Saudi Arabia going to build the world's most expensive ski resort in a country that has so little snow, and ultimately, will it even work? This leads us to our first question, why are they building Trojina? The answer is the economy and progress. Over the past decade, Saudi Arabia has been transformed into a regional and global business, financial, and industrial power. You might have only heard about its immense oil wealth and its petrochemical behemoth, Aramco. But the truth is, Saudi Arabia is not just about oil. Today, it is a global leader in renewables, technology, construction, and manufacturing. Tourism was the missing link in the Saudi $7 trillion plan to eliminate dependency on oil revenues. As a result, the government has announced via its public investment fund several tourism mega-projects that are aimed at its local population, such as the $75 billion Kadia Entertainment City in the capital Riyadh, as well as Sindala and Trojina, which are part of the new futuristic green $500 billion city of Neom, which is designed for international visitors, migrant investors, and innovators. We have made videos about Neom and its core mega projects, the Line, Oxagon, and Sindala, so make sure to check them out. In a nutshell, Trojina is being built as a one-of-a-kind tourist destination and an entertainment hub for the 9 million future residents of the Line. It is part of a much larger plan to transform Saudi Arabia into a luxury, green, and sustainable futuristic nation. We do have to make an important point here. Trojina is at its core a ski resort. Hence, once completed, it would mean that Saudi Arabia's tourism sector will cover all types of tourism. So what is Trojina? How are they building it? And what will it look like? Trojina is a new world-class green and sustainable year-round tourist destination that will consist of a series of facilities such as the Ski Village, ultra-luxury family and wellness resorts, a wide range of retail stores and restaurants, in addition to sports activities including ski slopes, water sports, mountain biking, and you name it. The fact that it is a ski resort made the weather an important issue, and rather an obstacle. Thus, the Sarwat Mountains, about 50 kilometers from the Gulf of Aqaba coast, were selected. These mountains offer elevations ranging from 1,500 to 2,600 meters, and even though they are in the desert, the site's climate is considerably cooler than the rest of Neom's territory, which is also cooler than the rest of Saudi Arabia, as it is located in the northwest on the Red Sea and not too far from the Mediterranean Sea. It is important to point out here that Trojina's various villages and sites will be between 1,600 and 2,600 meters above sea level. At this elevation, temperatures hover around or below zero during winter, and thus snow covers the high mountain peaks. Trojina consists of seven parts, the vault, a ski village, an observatory, the lake, a nature reserve, the bow, and an exclusive luxury mansion's village. The vault is a vertical village sandwiched between the walls of two mountains to the east and west. It will be 198 meters high, 864 meters long, and 253 meters wide. When we say vertical, we do not mean that it will consist of high rises and skyscrapers. 
No, what we mean is that all structures will be built on the steep walls of the mountains. Steel and concrete are being used to build this colossal, unprecedented vertical village that will encompass 450 villas, mansions, and luxury apartments, a digital hub for innovation, a digital museum, a 3,000-seat auditorium, a gamified vista, and more than 1,000 luxury hotel rooms and 13,000 square meters of retail and dining space. It will also feature its own microclimate, lush greenery, and water supply. It is quite amazing because it is so technologically advanced, green, and futuristic, experts call it a real-life metaverse with a breathtaking view of the mountains, lake, and rest of Trojina. A 50 meters wide, green, 2 kilometers long path with a road for small EVs that is littered with cafes and restaurants extends from the vault to the lake. This pathway and road also connect to a road that leads to a stunning observatory located about three kilometers to the west of the vault. This large three-story observatory does not sit on the top of the mountain peak, but it is rather hung on its peak's side by a massive steel and concrete support. Standing on or within it would make one feel as if they are flying, and it is interestingly designed to look like the Star Trek spaceship Voyager. We have already talked about the artificial 3 kilometers long lake, but we did not mention that it will feature an underwater bow hotel, dubbed the Bow, at the southern end. One part of the hotel will overlook the part of the valley that leads to the nature reserve, while the other side will feature windows with a view of the lake and the vault in the distance, and of course, it will feature a massive aquarium. An exclusive ultra-luxury mansion village will be constructed on the east side of the lake, about 200 meters above the lake water level. This unique village is designed for royals and billionaires and features views of all of Trojina to the west, north, and south as well as the ski village up on the mountains to the east. Finally, we have reached the most exciting part of Trojina, the ski village. It will be located approximately three kilometers east of the lake at an elevation of 2,600 meters. Almost the entire village is designed as one colossal, indescribable, neo-futuristic structure like a web of interconnected highways. This structure is a series of partial open concept domes. Each dome consists of several floors and they are not closed domes since all levels are exposed to mountain views and the outdoors via massive gaps that shows the wavy curves of each structure. The roof of this collateral structure consists of an interconnected ski slopes network that is also connected to the mountain slopes. Within this impressive structure that will boast several hotels and all amenities, one can imagine a guest would stay in a hotel suite with panoramic views and be able to access the slopes via elevators. Below this structure's roof slopes, a series of other slopes exist and will enable guests to ski on artificial snow even during the hottest summer days. Additionally, some of the slopes are designed for grass skiing, which we did not know of until we made this video. The length of all slopes combined is more than 35 kilometers, which is quite impressive since most world-class ski resorts in the colder areas around the world feature about half that length of ski slopes. Do not underestimate this Saudi mega project and its venues because it has already been selected as the host city for the Asian Winter Games 2029. Let us know what you think and if you would go skiing in Trojina once it is opened in 2026. And please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.